What's going on guys, it's Chris and we're back doing more fish tank videos. I have probably five videos published on duckweed. Duckweed is a super invasive aquarium floating plant. Some people hate it, some people love it. I've done videos talking about how it saves my life when it comes to my tanks because it consumes nitrates, which is what the fish give off. So I got a bunch of questions and I would say the most common question is my duckweed is dying, it's not growing, and it's turning white. So let's deep dive into this. So as you can see, I have tons of fish tanks upstairs here, and these are newly set up. There will be duckweed in these because I rely on duckweed in all of my tanks upstairs. And if I don't have duckweed in tanks, it's because I can't keep it alive for specific reasons. Here is what duckweed looks like when it starts to turn white. It's not growing, it's dying, um actually no it's not this tank this stuff's doing pretty good you can tell because it's green it's lively a lot of times you can look at the roots too like those roots are pretty long meaning that it's alive these roots over here are crazy long so as you can see here that's duckweed this tank was super high in nitrates and that's why the duckweed was doing so well so let me figure out what tank here in the entertainment center has duckweed that's dying it's this tank right here i remember now so as you can see, this is a heavily planted aquarium, and I'm guessing what's happening here with the duckweed is that these plants are steal stealing all the nutrients and the duckweed can't feed on any. And as you know, duckweed is a floating plant, so it can only consume its nutrients from the water. So as you can see here, I don't see any roots, and that's because the duckweed isn't doing well. I keep throwing it in here, but it keeps dying. As you can t tell here, it looks really lackluster. It is turning white and it's dying essentially. So here's the deal with duckweed guys. And I know all the tips and tricks and secrets because I've dealt with it and I love this stuff and I try to keep it in all the tanks. So the biggest reason why your duckweed is dying, number one is gonna be surface movement. So as you can see here, I use sponge filters, and what I try to do is use it the least amount of surface movement as possible because floating plants hate surface movement. So, like this one right here, this is too much surface movement, and chances are if you have a hang on the back filter, it's too much current. You need to switch to a different filter and use a slower moving, uh, essentially what you want is slower movement on the surface. This is about perfect so and sometimes these sponge filters like that give off too much surface agitation because they're the bubbles are floating and they're moving all over and the duckweed hates it duckweed essentially wants this it wants stagnant waters barely moving granted this is probably too little of movement what i'll do here is open this valve this one's split so what i'm gonna do here let's see here it's split with this one Sorry, I'm panting. It's just like, I've been doing so much maintenance on aquariums today. So what I'll do is I'll tighten this one in hopes that the other one will kind of get some more movement. There we go. That's a little bit more, but that's still pretty lackluster. But to be honest with you, that's all I need because the duckweed cures everything. It consumes the nitrates. So here's the deal. If your duckweed is dying, turning white or dying back or just not growing, number one is surface movement. That's the biggest key. And if you have to have surface movement, you want to get a head, like a 90 degree elbow, so that the bubbles get pushed at the surface movement. Because what happens with hang on the back filters is it's throwing water into this, in, it's throwing water into the body of water and it's making the duckweed sink. See when I do that? It makes it sink and then it dies. Because what it wants to do essentially is sit on the top of the surface and just be stagnant. That is the most ideal scenario for duckweed. Let's see here. I have duckweed in all of these tanks. What I do is usually net this stuff like every once every week. And what I can do is go around on all my aquariums and I can look below it and just kind of tell like this tank. This tank, I cannot keep duckweed alive in. I don't know what it is, but I just can't keep it alive. And it's probably too much surface movement or there's just not enough nutrients in the water column. I apologize about the glare. So yeah, I try to keep them in all my tanks. 
let's see if we can turn on these lights. <clears throat> I have to manually turn on the lights because it's, uh, it's not that time of day yet to where the lights come on. But yeah, a lot of my tanks have tons and tons of duckweed. See that tank? Just filled. And I, I don't do water changes, guys. I forgot to mention, like, I really do not do water changes. I'm being, I'm being completely honest here. Let's check out these 20s. Uh, duckweed should be doing good in these tanks, as you can see. See, like, this water current, or water, whatever you want to call it, water movement, water current, surface agitation, the duckweed wants to be stagnant. I need to raise this water level so that it can kind of like be better, but that's that's okay. I mean, it's making do, it's doing its thing. And a lot of times what happens is mother nature, essentially these plants kind of just do what they have to do to survive. And if they don't, then it just kind of doesn't work. But some tips and tricks are that the water current at the surface is the biggest deal or deal breaker when it comes to duckweed and having it die or turn colors and just not grow. So hopefully that helps you guys. Hit up the comment section. I have like five videos on duckweed and I kind of get sick of doing videos on them, but this is gonna be the last one guys because I probably got 20 questions regarding people asking because they're frustrated because they can't keep it alive and they're trying to because they see how beneficial it is to my tanks and what have you. So without further ado guys, this is gonna be a short video because I don't have, the lights haven't even come on yet. Usually all the lights come on at night and it's still daytime. Uh, we're kind of vampires around here, uh, so let me know in the comment section how your duckweed is doing, if it's dying, or if it's turning colors, or turning white. Please let me know, I can help you. Let me know if the surface trick changes your game with the duckweed, because I know it sucks changing filters, but sponge filters are honestly the future as far as tanks go, because it's just, it's, it's the way to do it, guys. So, alright, like this video for the love of fish keeping, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.